Hello you guys. I am starting today's vlog a little later. That's mainly because Tuesdays are my like slow days. I only have one class at 11. I can wake up just when my body naturally wants to wake up without an alarm. Today it was like 8.38. It was really nice. Um, but now I have errands to run. I thought I would just take that time for myself. I got a vlog day number one up. So it's Monday, today's Tuesday, obviously. Uh, today's vlog might be shorter because I'm starting it at 12.37, but maybe not because I do have errands to run. I have to go get gas because my gas light is on and it's been on for a hot minute. So I don't want to run out of gas anywhere. Two, I need to go to the bank. I have also, I need to go get a gift for my brother's birthday and send that all the way to Washington where he's at and then um lastly I need to get cash like some surprise Valentine's Day gifts now I know it's not Valentine's Day but I wasn't able to do what I really wanted to do on Valentine's Day so I'm gonna do it now as like a late valentine's day and i just because so basically i'm just getting him like a basket full of goodies um things like that and i'll take you along with me and then i'll probably go to the gym do homework found out i have an exam thursday so gotta study a lot when we get back but let's go on with the day and see where we go first so while we're in the car i really debated on listening to taylor swift because i've been on a big taylor swift kick or a podcast and i haven't listened to a podcast in a while so i'm listening to we all need grace um on the but what's next podcast with michelle reed oh i have no idea what's going on there but i highly recommend her podcast and i really also like like the gen z girl podcast with abby aslin and gals on the go so those are just a few of my favorite podcasts because i don't think i've ever shared them on here but i really recommend you listen to michelle reed especially if you are uh, more of a christian based she's just great and every time i listen to her or watch her videos i always get put in the best mood really just had myself a main character moment you guys and I don't do that often so I went into the store I needed to go to which is called New Frontier it is um I think their only shop is here in Moorhead because that is where the um guys that started this are from and they're brothers I think I think that's how that story goes I'm not for sure but you can look them up online. I'm pretty sure it's just like newfrontier.com or maybe it's like New Frontier Apparel. But they have a lot of cute stuff. So I got my brother. I'd pull it out, but it's really nicely folded and I'd hate to mess it up. But I got him a shirt with like a buffalo on it and it says Journey On. And then I got a hoodie with an arrowhead and it says like the Appalachian Mountains because that is this area. And then I had a gift card or I really wouldn't have done this because I don't typically do things like this. I went to a coffee shop slash bookstore and I got a caramel mocha joe. I don't typically get sugary drinks, may not even drink all of this. I took a sip and it was really sweet, but I thought, you know, I have a gift card. It's a pretty day. Tuesdays are good days. Let's have a main character moment because I've really just been like listening to podcasts about that and I wanted to have one because I haven't really had one in a long time. So really excited. It's a little too hot to drink right now so i'm letting it cool down but now i guess i'm headed to get gas and off to the bank and then walmart it's been a great day oh, that was loud sorry also being in the coffee shop and like bookstore really makes me miss being able to like go in there and sit down and do homework because my first semester um of college i did that with a couple of friends like we ate and we browsed and then sat there and done homework and it was amazing it's just good vibes um because I love coffee shops and bookstores they just make me really happy and it I don't know I can't wait until the day that we can sit in there again because they're stopping that thanks to COVID so hopefully we can get everybody vaccinated and things can kind of go back to semi-normal 
I'm at the gas station and sorry for the bad angle. There's like grown men looking at my car because it seems like this Jeep just attracts people. But waiting on my gas to get done, filling up right now and then gonna go to the bank and Walmart. I think I've said that. I, I mean, I keep repeating myself pretty much. And this whole vlog has basically just been me in my car. So I'm sorry about that. But like I said, I really suggest having a main character moment. It's great. I'm feeling great. And I think I'll have a more of a productive day after this. But I stopped at this gas station because I thought it might have a certain energy drink that Cash likes to drink. They're like the... Um... Oh, wow. I don't even know what they're called. But I know what the can looks like. So... I thought they were called 3Ds. Oh, great. Now I'm gonna have to look them up. I can't believe I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting on camera. How embarrassing. I remembered the energy drinks now. They're C4s. Um, anyways, I'm outside of Walmart and I just have a question. For all my fellow short girls out there, comment down below if you have to open your door and sometimes step out of your vehicle to like put things in like you know the bank that, um i don't even know what that's called you you know you put your checks in it and it like shoots it up inside i'm horrible at explaining sorry but how many of you all have to open your car door and sometimes step outside to do that even some fast food places i have to do it it's seriously a struggle be, um sometimes being short um it's got its pros and cons though i will say there's positives um, but yeah, hopefully I'm going to go inside and find everything I need for my surprise. And then I'm going back to my apartment and I'm going to show you a super quick crock pot or slow cooker, whatever you want to call it, chicken fajita recipe. And it's super good. And I can't wait to eat those tonight and probably just do homework, go to the gym at some point. I really want to take my coffee inside, but I know I can't because the mask. Hopefully I can hurry so it doesn't get too cold. Okay guys, I'm back in the Jeep operation. Late Valentine's Day present is done. I Last time I was here, they had Valentine's Day balloons that said Happy Valentine's Day. And I was like, oh cool, they're on sale. They only had this heart. And I found it in like a random aisle. So I got really lucky. <laughs> I just thought I'd include a balloon. And then I got him things like, basically just a lot of workout stuff. And I'll show you. I didn't find his energy drinks that I thought I would find. But, um, I found, like, a powder form of it in, like, a pre-workout. Um, big gym rats, you know, so that's kind of, like, the theme I was going for. But now it's finally time to go back to my place. Really excited to fix these chicken fajitas. And honestly, just get started on my homework. Because I feel like I've relaxed enough. I've been a main character. It's time for me to snap back into reality and do homework <laughs> and really feel myself as a pre-med student. currently 6 18 i think the last time i talked to you guys was around like two maybe three it was around three um in the past time where i haven't picked up the vlog camera i've been doing homework and uh let's see i hung out with cash and i, I don't like vlogging whenever i'm with him because i like to enjoy my time with him um but I done that and then I fixed those fajitas and basically I didn't say this because I didn't show it. My roommate was in the kitchen whenever I was cooking them so I didn't want to film. Um, but you just get, I get like chopped up chicken tenderloins, chicken breast tenderloins. I put those in the bottom of a crock pot. I take diced like tomatoes and green chilies and I just open a can of that, put it in the crock pot. I cut up one bell pepper um sometimes two because i do like a lot of peppers and then one onion and i add that and then fajita seasoning and uh you cook it on high for two to three hours and then you just let it stay all warm until you're ready to eat it and that's basically all for the chicken fajitas and i'll show you the finished product later 
um, because I still haven't ate them yet. They're still cooking, but I'm about to go to the gym right now. That's why I'm in my car. I'm changed into gym clothes. Um, that's really it. <laughs> I'm just kind of wore out from doing homework. I've been working on anatomy and it always just, it exhausts me really because the slides are so long and there's all, there's 83 of them and they're from top to bottom on each slide. So it takes a minute. I'm still not done with them but I figured I could go get a good workout in and kind of refresh and recharge and then get a little boost of energy to go and finish my homework.